everyone, it's Ginny. For this video, I'm going to be taking part in the Creative um, Arts Collaboration hashtag event for January, which is, um, the theme is Pantone's Colour of the Year. And um, if you want to look for the videos, you can um, write into the search bar hashtag Colour of the Year Art and it will bring up a heap of um, other artists that um, have made videos um, in this theme. So Pantone's colours, actually there are two colours um, this year and they are Rose Quartz and Serenity Blue. Um, and I'm going to be working on a canvas um, but the thing is, for me, I'm unable to make the exact colours to match. So I'm going to go with a pale pink and a pale blue, um, which is, you know, a sort of <laughs> match with the theme. So anyway, I'm going to be doing a canvas and, <clears throat> excuse me, I, as per usual, take a very long time to do things, so what I'll do is I'm going to get started and I'll speed through the process of it and then I'll come back and talk to you about it at the end. So I'm going to start off now and I hope you enjoy the process. Thanks for watching.
I just come back and chat to you while I add the last finishing touches? Oh dear, that's come up again. I'll just try a bit of hot glue on this. What I wanted to tell you is that I've been meaning to do this canvas for a very long time. And um, just didn't get time to get around to it yet. But uh, when I saw the theme for this month's hashtag um, and seeing that it's the perfect perfect thing to go with this canvas, I thought I'd do it now for this event. Um, meaning that I always intended to do this in pink and blue. So I'm just going to add some last little things and explain to you why I wanted to do this canvas and um, and that it has significant meaning um, to me and it will become apparent to many of you who are regular viewers of my channel um, what that significance is. So I've got a butterfly I want to put on there. I'm going to put a little <laughs> funny thing I've crocheted here with a little face. It's a little sunshine. So I was thinking I'd put those two here. So I need some really good glue. I think I'd probably better hot glue that sun down as well. Um, and the other thing I wanted to say is it probably looks like there's an awful <laughs> lot on here and it might be a little bit over the top, but that's how I wanted it. I wanted it so that it included um, a lot of the things of significance to this particular project. So I'm happy with it anyway. And I'm really pleased to be finally getting around to doing it and to be able to share it with you. So my little sunshine about here, I think, with the butterfly. There. just need to tilt it up so I can yeah so oh, that's not um, work too well hopefully it'll stay on so there it is minus the very last final touch. Um, in case you haven't guessed already, this canvas I've done in honour of Sunny who was crafting Sun E on YouTube until she passed in May last year. And um, Everything on here represents Sunny, including the quote. The quote is something that she said in one of her videos that I thought was, was a lovely thing and it uh, shows typically what a lovely person she was, that she always thought of others even though she had a difficult life herself and suffered for many years with um, illness. So yeah, I wanted to include this on here. I wanted this to be my little tribute to her in her memory. It's a little bit wonky but 
um, and I'll put on here the date as well that she said this, which is the date of her actual video. <clears throat> Many crafters um, knew of Sunny. Um, but some of you might not know of her. She does, did have a YouTube channel, although of course it's still open now so you can still see her videos and it's something that I quite often do is just go and spend a little bit of time with her, watching her old videos. She has a very calming um, relaxing voice and way of speaking that uh, is really nice. Oh, this paper's curled up right where I don't want it to. So yeah, this is my canvas and I just wanted to explain to you quickly the things that I've put on here. <clears throat> so looking at um, Sunny's videos as, as I said I often do, um, I learned from her because I didn't know her all that well when she passed. I started to get to know her and, and was finding rapidly what a beautiful person she was. But watching her videos since I found a, a lot more about her and the things that she loved were pink and blue, particularly blue, all shades of blue were her favourite colour um, and she said that was because it reminded her of denim. She loved tissue paper which is why I've made some tissue paper flowers and I put a quote in tissue paper. She loved bling which I've put a few blings here and there. She loved flowers, particularly roses, which is why I did the stencil of the roses in the background. She loved butterflies, which is why I've put the pink and blue butterflies in the large one here. She loved shabby chic. Um, I haven't done shabby chic before, so this is kind of my little go at it, I guess. I've, I made some little shabby chic type flowers with some bling centers and I actually this was made in um, calico which I think is also known as muslin and I painted them with just here and there with pink and blue um, with a shimmer watercolor paint and they actually glitter but it's it doesn't pick up on camera unfortunately I also did that with the bird cage. Something else that Sunny really loved was bird cages. <clears throat> Excuse me, she used to love making them out of wood and decorating them. And um, I think that was about all I wanted to say. I've also included this gorgeous heart with the word love on it, which my dear friend Dee from Betsy Doodle sent me in a happy mail package and um, that's my canvas <laughs> so I'm going to hang this in a, in a special place on the wall and it's going to go along with I'll just get it and show you this lovely hand that D from Betsy Doodle made in memory of Sunny um, which is absolutely gorgeous and I really treasure it so these are going to go together on the wall and I hope you like my canvas I hope you enjoyed watching my process and I hope you go now and check out the rest of the videos for the hashtag event because there are some wonderful artists and crafters on YouTube who have fantastic content and um, it's really worth checking out. So 
thank you very much everyone for watching and um, if you're a new subscriber thank you so very much I really appreciate it and I love and adore my old subscribers as well okay thank you I'm going now bye bye for now um, just one more thing I forgot to mention is that um, I crocheted this little Sun because Sunny loved to crochet and of course the Sun represents her too so I just wanted to show you that and it's a pink wool with um, some metallic thread through it so it's kind of blingy <laughs> it twinkles in the light so yeah all right I'm gonna go thanks a lot for watching bye